Hi, welcome to my first unboxing of Mystery Tackle Box. It's a box that's found on mysterytacklebox.com. Hashtag Mystery Tackle Box. It's a great box. Costs somewhere between fifteen dollars uh, for a month to uh, breaks down to about thirteen dollars and sixty-two, sixty-three cents per month if you get the yearly uh, lump sum payment. Anyways, if you're coming over here from uh, uh, Fable Fishing Group, welcome. This is the first video you've seen. It's probably going to be the first one posted up. Please feel free to join us Tuesdays every well, it's every other Tuesdays at coffee scene down on Morganton. Anyways, let's begin. Let's see what we got this month. Oh, so that's the little thing this month is Happy Dance. I will not be doing that on camera. Sorry to disappoint anybody, but uh, maybe next time we'll see. So let's see what we have here. Live target, that's always a great sign. These spades are not cheap. They're, so, they're always great. So let's see what we have here today. It looks like a, a Threat Fin Shad. It's a multi bait that's got a square bill. Uh, let's see what it says here. It's got a depth dive. Dive depth is about three to four feet. It had a three to four pi. Anyways, uh, so let's take a look at this. Let's see what it looks like. All right. So, like most crankbaits, I got two treble hooks. Gotta be careful. And let's see what it looks like. So, it looks like three fish and smaller ones. So it looks like a school that's gonna be floating along, but at the same time you still get the size of a normal crankbait going after bass but will attract fish and won't go after what appears to be the bigger baits so maybe a little bit more success with this one we'll find out hopefully soon enough I will be posting videos of anything I catch on any of the baits that I ever gotten in Mr. Tackle Box, which would compromise to approximately, hmm, like 90% of my baits, if not more. Next, we have the Bass Attacker, made in the US of A, infused with bass fuel. I need to know what that is so I can put it in my truck. Here and there for you. So, these things appear to be about. Six inches long? They're pretty long worms. And you get the feel of a uh, live one. You might want to cut these down to size for what you're going after. Friends, who knows? You might go after some monsters with this thing. Right. Anyways, moving on. So, next on the list are these Charlie's Worm. They appear to be some. Where's that some tails? So they got some tail worms on here. Uh, let's see here. It says they're high floaters, mini, mini, medium texture, and they're scented. So let's take a look at these. These appear to be emerald green, some green archer color. And ah, they appear to be very flexible. Let's see what they smell like. It's supposed to be scented. Oh, I think they smell bad. Looks like a gummy worm. Hey, they didn't put gummy worms in here. Yeah. They smell exactly what they're supposed to smell. We'll give these a shot next time we're out going after some bigger ones. Next on here is these big bite baits. And they appear to be crawfish. So let us see what these look like. So, you know, usual. Crawfish or their little mini lobster looking things. Is there anything special? Oh, look at that. So I don't know if you can see it on the lighting per se. But we got these, they're hollow. You can see right through them. If you hear that, that's probably the hollow sound in there. Which is great because you can see if you can put some bells in there, some, make them jiggle and make some noise, attract the fish. Or give it a little buoyancy when I want to float up. That way you put it on the bottom of a jig or something. Faces upwards. 
gives that, that real action look of a defending crawfish. So, finish that. I'm going to get some bites from these bad boys. Uh, let me see. I need to do some more stuff in here. Um, some bait mate for Sheraton. It just looks like the free sample they hand out, but it's got a coupon up here, which is mine. No stealing. Alright. There's usually more. Oh, there is. There it is. So, what do we have here? Swinging Rugby Jig. That name right by itself is intriguing enough. I think I've seen some of these before. Ooh, hello. These are great for some catfish. It's got some serious weight to it. And by the way the design looks, it looks like it's supposed to just sit in the bottom and let the hook float upwards if you got something that wants to float. Like, I don't know, these crawdads? I mean, really get that crawdad defensive look up there, which is really awesome, actually. I will be using these. Go after some cats. The only problem I see with something with these is you try to pull your line in, it's really down low, and the hook's facing just the wrong way where it can. And now you're out of it. You're out of jig. Well, that's what they give you, too, right? Don't cast the same place twice with these. Uh, let's see if there is anything else. Alright, so here's the usual card. It's for first timers. You want to get your first box for really cheap. You look in here, you get a, there's a coupon code up on your right here. And for $4.99, you get your first box. This is great. This is what I did. And we'll get, I'll show you the prices of everything in the box right now. And trust me, it is a good deal. So. Moving onwards, there should be a. Oh, here it is. So it's about a. They give one of these in each one of your boxes. And this talks to you about your box a little bit, tells you what's in it. So you start here with the the, 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 the bait ball square bill, right? And that, like, oh wow, look at that. 16 bucks for the live target bait. And that by itself paid for in the entire box. I mean, that's incredible. So if you look down here, it. Um, Tells you a little bit more. It's for hunting the hatch. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be a cluster of baby shed uh, that are supposed to fall bait to bass. Next is that swimming craw that we found that had that little hollow action. Like I said, it can hold a bell or my my bad. It's supposed to be called a rattle, a rattle, or be used as a reservoir for scent. So you can fill it up with some scent, let it leak out. The fish going mm, who farted in the water. Anyways. So they're great. The you good good rattle that allows it to float just a little bit. That'd be awesome. And next is that paddle tail worm, which came from Charlie's worms, which was this right here. And you see these are the prices marked over here are the prices for what you got. And if you look down at the bottom, you see what a retail package would have and how much that would cost. So apparently someone's been doing the math. Well, at least I think so. It says that the Palatin Worms 8 pack of them is $5 for $4.99, but a 4 pack is $2.25. Someone needs to do math again. Anyways, moving on. So, over here you have the uh, Attacker Needles, which were these really, the really thin light blue worms that we found over here. And, um,. It says they infuse with bass fuel, rig weightless Texas Carolina, but most often bass destroyed on a shaky head, which is uh yeah would be great for us. Now the swing rugby jigs now they come in that two pack and that's six bucks. So between the swing rugby jig and the uh, the live target bait, it's a lot of money. But uh, it's talking about you want it perfect for Texas rigging soft plastic, so just. Great for if you're using right enough tracking, like that tracking we got right here was just a free sample, and use that inside the crawfish. Oh, beast! Anyways, so that's what I got in the box here. And you also get a little magazine dribble. It usually always features. Uh, he's kind of like the mascot of Mr. Tackle Box. He's a funny guy. 
you've ever seen any of the commercials for it, that's the dude in the commercials. Mm, he's always trying to be funny. But these books are great because it tells you how to what depends on where you're going at and what to use where and so you know freezing presentations for panfish you know great stuff here's a guy who got some advertising but hey look at that 50 percent off for uh fishity if you're into that this code right heather and apparently there's this thing called dude wipes let's see and how to use colors when you're fishing. They're great little boxes. And of course, you do get your sticker. I love these stickers. They weren't originally shiny. Now they are. So yeah, I've been getting this, these boxes for about a year and a half. This is the first time I decided to make an unboxing video. But it's also more content for Fable Fishing Group. So I'm going to post a link to that. Should be, I don't know, let's say right here, right here. That, that, sound, that, this part right here, that sounds good. So, yeah, look us up on meetup.com, Faithful Fishing Group. Hope you enjoyed my unboxing, and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you.